We, we, we're here to do something that we normally do in the comfort and privacy of our own home, which is essentially to, um, to predict the table, the Premier League table. Uh, for the 23-24 season. Yeah, not sure it's going to work. Not sure how entertaining it's going to be, but we thought, you know, we write them down on a piece of paper. We normally tuck them away into that. That gets taped up. We just chuck it in a drawer and forget about it. <laughs> Generally. Who had the idea? Was it you or me? I did. You did. I'm I'm the one with the ideas. You're the, you're the ideas man, yes. Indeed. I've got better ideas than you because <laughs> you're in the middle of your 40s. Dylan had the idea. He's no. like... Let's, why don't we just do it on stream? And I was like, okay, that sounds, uh, sounds good. Do you want to go first? Stop bottom. bottom. Bottom up. Right, let's go bottom up. Bottom. Dylan. What are we saying? Relegation. Luton. Luton. We were testing this earlier on, and that was the... <laughs> I put Luton. Dylan, that was the test club, wasn't it? Yeah. See if the colours work. Right, Luton. So Dylan's gone for Luton. I am actually going to agree with him. I think they could quite easily do a uh, a Swindon Town in the 93-94 season. You know, concede more than 100 goals and then yo-yo straight back into the Football League. I, I can see that happening. Yeah, and they haven't done good business. I mean, no. Oh, they, well, and considering the, the state player, of the considering the state of the the ground as well. The back garden's still open for the, business. He, absolutely. Yeah, there's no underfloor heating uh, in that round they've had to postpone the first game mk dons has got a bigger stadium than I, them and I, they've gone down to I, league two yeah while well, the newest member of the premier league is getting its pitch slash stadium fixed we think they will yo-yo straight back into the football league apologies Luton, but you know that's that's the, <laughs> the, the cookie crumbles. it is indeed it is indeed right next dylan bournemouth bournemouth they haven't got super eddie anymore no, I, do, I think i think they're a one season wonder you know they they, they proved everyone wrong but I mean, oh, they were oh, without a doubt, they were absolutely punching for, um, for ages. Yeah, the the business they've done just doesn't look good enough. Somebody from A Z Alkmaar. Yeah, they um <laughs> fourth place in Eredivisie last season, so that's not great. <laughs> yeah, two of their best players released as free agents. Good grief! Wow. Just as a bit of a heads up, there might there may be a controversial. Brentford take in here. Uh, well, yes. That's, I, but I, that's kind of my thing. That is kind of your thing. You're, you're for some reason, a Brentford fan. Yeah, I never understood. Your grandfather never understood that either. But you've got some... You've had some uh, controversial takes I, all I've, the way through last season. I've you, um, hang on. Did you not um, flame me throughout the entire season last season when... What was it? 3-1. 3-1. For the entire... Just the rest of the season. It was like, yeah, all right. So I'm going to be slightly different here. I'm going to go slightly different and say, I'm not going to say that they're going to go much better, but I'm actually going to put... Boom! I'm actually going to put, as another newly promoted team, I think they're going to be back where, they're, back where they were. I'm going to guess your 18th place, Burnley. What? Yours is going to be Burnley, isn't it? No, oh. actually, it's not. Because I was actually going to put Bournemouth there. Oh, so, for God's sake. <laughs> It's, it's semantics, I know, but I, I, I think they'll they'll do slightly better, but not, not brilliant. Who are you going to have as 18th? Everton. Everton. <gasps> now. <laughs> but, um, oh, what happened to that big V. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> they flirted with the danger zone last season, didn't they? They yeah, were they were... They can't keep getting away with it. You're right. They did it last day of the season. Literal last match. It was literally the last match, wasn't it? Yeah, and they've, they've got rid of Begovic. What are they doing? It's, yeah, Begovic on a free agent. If, they brought in flipping Ashley Young. Ashley Young, the oldest man in football. Oh, apart from him and James Milner, I think, are just propping up this league, aren't they, in terms of uh, Ash, age? Ashley Young, more like Ashley Old. Ashley Oh, exactly that. Yeah, Ashley Old <laughs> has been transferred in. That's a pretty I good mean, one. Look, look at what they've... Look at what they've... I didn't realise, I just looked above Begovic. You've got Andros Townsend, who was, you know, in my opinion, one of their best players last season. And then they've, they've also gone and released Tom Davies. And Yerry Mina. Oh He's gone gosh. as well. They've literally got nobody left. They've got Dan Juma on loan, ex-Tottenham, which is which could be good for them, I yeah, guess. Tom Davies has gone as well. So, yeah, you're probably right, mate. I, I, I am going to be a little bit more... I'm going to say that they're going to dodge a bullet again. Could be final match day. So I'm going to put Everton at 17th. Who have you got at 17th? Sheffield. Sheffield United. I don't think they'll be meeting Wednesday in the second division. <laughs> no, 
But they are, uh, I think they are slightly punching above their even weight if, a little bit. Even if they do go down, they still won't be meeting them because Wednesday are going down. Oh, yeah. The, uh, the other Sheffield, not, not doing so well. What do we think at 16? Forest. No. I, so, I, you know, I didn't... It's, it's, it's the championship. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's Nottingham Forest on there. There it is. They've got rid of Jesse Lingard. Yes, they have. He's gone away and started his own team. <laughs> Somewhere, apparently. Done a good bit of business. They've got Chris Wood and... Chris Antonio Wood's come Lango. in, yeah. That, I think that, Lango as well. Yeah, and Alanga. That's a couple of good bits of business. But they've lo just released so many players. Mm, Cafu, Jesse Lingard, not, not Andre the, Ayew. I mean, he's, you know... Not the, not the icon on FIFA, Cafu, the other one. I know. I was just disclosing that. Cafu is old as hell anyway, so he wouldn't be playing. So they have done a little bit of business, and they did um, they did sort of, out, you know, exceed expectations last season. I actually quite like Forrest, so yeah. I'm going to... Um, I'm not going to say that they're... I'm not going to agree you know, with you. I, I was just like, who the hell do I put in? Because this is so impossible. <laughs> yes. yes. Like, I was thinking about West Ham for a minute, but then I was like, no, they've got... They've got stonks now. Yeah. Because Declan Rice sale, and they've got a pretty good team in. Yeah. As well. Like they've got Skamaka in there. He's pretty good. Fulham. Yeah, they've lost Mitro. They've lost Mitro. Let's see what sort of business they've done. Oh. Fulham. They haven't done a lot actually, have they? Good grief. They've brought in Jimenez. Jimenez in. Gavin Bassi, and that's a good signing. Yeah. He's a, he's a nice young player from Ajax. Second in the era of Izzy, not fourth. Lost a couple on on, on freeze, but yeah, um, but Jimenez is Jimenez, Jimenez will be a good a great replacement will be a good signing for for, for Mitro. When Mitrovic comes back, yeah, then that will be a deadly strike partnership. But I'm still thinking they're not gonna. I don't think they'll perform. Well, if Jimenez season. gets injured or something. Yeah, or if, you know Mitrovic again. He's he's getting old. You see if he gets injured or banned. Again. Again. <laughs> if, he, if he gets back to the thing of he pushing gets referees. Pushing referees, yeah. Fifteen. What are we what are we thinking? Burnley. Stuff. Burnley, right. That was very uh, determined. You arrived at it firmly and you stuck to it. Good, good man. Let's have a quick look at what Burnley have done. Considering they are opening the uh official season with no, oh, uh the no, Friday actually, night. Actually they've got they've got Nathan Redmond, James Trafford, mm -hmm. twenty one Euros winner. We've got Lawrence Vigoro. What are they? What are they doing, Lawrence Vigoro? They'll open the Premier League 23 24 season on Friday night, the 18th of August, against Man City. I think who it's they, their place, who though, they isn't just it? just signed a player from, James Trafford. James Trafford. It yeah. was only on loan at Bolton. But it's their. It's at their place. It's at Burnley, I think. Oh, it's at Jeff Moore. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm going to put Burnley a little bit further up. So I'm probably going to go... Probably because of the... Is it because of their 100-point season? Hmm. Yeah. They were one of the best seasons in the year for last year. Now you're going Forest. I'm going to put Forest a little bit slightly higher up. So we're just differing just slightly, just for the, you know, competitive edge. Because um, at the end of the season, we'll also... We total up... We'll total up the points. So we get a point... What do we do, actually? What did you say? Um, last year it was point for each correct position, but I think this year what we... Is there's we should do a point for like golf scores, like a point for each position away. You go try and get low points instead of high points. Oh, okay. So where they finish yeah, and where if you get it bang on the zero. Oh, I see. So the lower the pointage, the better. I like that idea. But if like it's it's a 2017 Leicester situation, you put them getting relegated and then they win and then the they league. win. Yeah. So you put them 19th and they win the league. That's, well, that's 18 points. That's what I was gonna say. They have automatically got 18 points and you're already on the back foot. Still, you know, makes makes a bit of fun. Points are awarded for incorrect positions to where teams finish. I know, that's why I'm spending not very much on shampoo. Uh, to where teams finish. One point per place. So the idea being is to score the least amount of points. So if we had, like Dylan said, perfect scenario, we had a Leicester City 2017 scenario where we've gone, let's say, okay, well, let's let's talk. Let's say Luton Town exceed all expectations in that ropey little stadium of theirs, and they go on to li to to win the Premier League. Then Highly unlikely, I know. We would get nineteen points for that. So they, we would get nineteen points for that, and or, then or if Sheffield United did what they did last time they yeah. came up into the Premier League, 
and they got mid table yeah then you would be further off well exactly so i would be i would say no, i'd have 19 points already for the luton town and say sheffield united ended up in the champions league places i'd probably be on something like already 25 points so who are we going for points wolves wolves they have been oh god very busy and most of them are out they've, yep. sent, they've sent two players to grass up a club so we've lost uh joao Moutinho. Diego Costa, never liked Costa anyway. But um, Moutinho is a big loss. Yeah, Moutinho is. Connor Cody, he's gone back to he's gone to Leicester. Has he gone back to Leicester? I don't know. Was he a Leicester player? Come on. He's, he's gone down a division. He's so. gone. Connor Cody's gone to Leicester. That's a big loss. Nathan Collins gone to Brentford. Nathan Collins, yeah, Brentford. So that's a good pickup for Brentford there. Another, another side. Yep, they lost. For Jimenez to Fulham, which we yeah, Raul earlier. Jimenez, we did, yeah, we did. There is lots of free agents been released, lots of transfers out, lots of loan out as well. They've done loads of business. It doesn't look like they've got a lot in. I'm going to go with Wolves as well in 14th. Thirteenth. Right. So? What do we reckon? Now it's Fulham. Now it's Fulham. Okay, you're going to put Fulham in there. I am going to. That's because I really like to pick up. A, um, but I think they'll yeah. drop off a little without Mitrovic. Yeah. I'm going to put in... Palace. Yeah, I was thinking about them in a minute. Crystal Palace. Uh, I you think... still haven't said flipping Burnley. I know. It's because I... You didn't like them a... before. I didn't like them before. Um, but do you like them now? It's not that I like them. So you, you like them more. It's, it's just like who's in charge and what he does to teams, so... Do you think um, company is a better manager? Like, a more respectable manager? Yeah. I do. Oh, they've, they've lost Zaha to Galatasaray. Yes. Yeah, Zaha's gone. So that's a big... Um, Jack Butland as well. That's... Uh, uh, they've got Jefferson Lemma, though. Yeah. Milio... Milio... Mil... Milio... 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 I'm the, I'm the, pronu the pronounce. It's um, Milivojevic. Milivojevic. There we are. Easy for you to say, but yeah, there's uh, yeah again. Few few have gone out. Jefferson Lerma, I'd say to uh, to, to Bournemouth. Wilfred Zaha, he's going to be a big loss. Galatasaray, mm, I don't know about. That. I don't know if that's going to work out. You know, it's like a Deli Alley going to be sick now. Situation. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, yeah, Jack Butland released as a free agent. Uh, James MacArthur's released as a free agent. Yeah, so I I'm gonna yeah, gonna put Crystal Palace in there. I think they're gonna be. All right, but they'll just finish where they finish. 12th. What do we think? You're going for Palace there. Similar sort of scenario, isn't it? Yeah, I think they're going to be bang mid-table. Bang mid-table. Just like where they usually are. <laughs> yes. Wait, I'm just are trying you, are to you find... you going to finally put Flipping Burnley? Yeah. I'm going to do it. I thought, I thought you were going to come right out of the park with a Flipping Aston Villa or something. No. Although I'm thinking Aston Villa may be 11 or 10. They got seventh last season. So. Yeah, I, you know, it's not, it's not for the want of Unai Emery. Yes, Emery. That's good manager. I do think he's a good manager. Yeah, he beat Man United. I don't think. And he caused uh, Moreno to say, "Hey, get out, Man United." Get out! Get out, Man United! Get out! Yeah, I just don't think they're going to have the season like they did last year. So, what are you going for in eleven? You're going to put Chelsea. In? Chelsea. Might upset I, some I, people I here, kids. I don't respect them as a club because I'm a Brentford fan. <laughs> right. <laughs> Look at this. All of these players. Koulibaly out at, at, to Saudi. Kovacic out to Man City. Edward Mende out to Saudi, uh, Saudi. Kai Havertz to Arsenal, the rivals. Ruben lost his cheek. Gone to AC Milan. That's a good sign for AC Milan, I think. Yeah, I think he'll AC, do well there. AC are going to do well in the Serie A with that. Charlie Webster's gone to out on loan. Who have they brought in? There's just, there's just more. Uh, Mason Mount, he's gone to Man United. Aspelacueta. Aspelacueta's gone to uh, Atletico Madrid. I hated his face. I hated that guy's face. I hate, I hate how difficult to pronounce his name is. I know it's, it's, uh, it's, it's tragic. Fafana's gone out on loan to, to, to Union Berlin. Pulisic. The greatest American ball player of all time has LeBron gone to James AC Milan. LeBron James of soccer, indeed, has gone to AC Milan. They've had a couple of good signings, haven't they, AC a Milan? They've done AC. some great business. Bamiang's gone to Marseille. They haven't got a lot left, have they? No. I think you're spot on with that one, mate. They're, they're, 
that their team is bare bones. It is bare bones now. Because I mean, looking let, at let it, let me think of all the Chelsea players that are left. I don't know. Let me keep thinking. <laughs> Reese James. Is he still James. there? Reese James is still there. Yeah. Is Sterling still there as well? Yeah. Well, uh, Raheem. Not, not Dujon. No, not Dujon. <laughs> no, Raheem's still there, isn't he? I think they so. ain't got a lot left, have they? No. Good grief. And then who have they signed? Nicholas Jackson. Well, I've never even heard of Nicholas from Jackson from Villarreal, but also they've brought in Isha Samuel Smith from Everton. Because everybody knows that. This is this is the crap alert. This is the crap team <laughs> of the day. <laughs> crap team of the day is Chelsea. Yeah, they have hemorrhaged a lot of players. They've done it. They've done. I've had to do three little scrolls of my mouse wheel. That's how much business they've done. It's crazy. And most crazy of it's amounts. Out. And but yeah, like I said, most of it's out. So. That's then not great. The only player I've actually heard of who they brought in is Nkunku. Yeah. <laughs> right. I am going to put Villa in there. Still no Chelsea. I we'll have a quick, only 15th. We'll have a quick look at uh, Aston Villa. They've put... Uh, they've signed Yuri Tillemans from Leicester. They've lost Ashley Lund. Ashley Old. Ashley Old. Not that it, it matters massively. They, they've amount. got Pal Pal Musa Diaby. That's why I haven't put them in yet. Ah, Yuri Diaby. Tillemans. Yeah, okay. Two brilliant signings for them. Uh, and Nakamba as well. Pal Torres. Oh, nakamba has gone out. Sorry to Luton. Pal, Pal Torres is a good signing as well. They've made, mm, yeah, they've yeah, made yeah. good business. Yeah. I still don't think, though. I think I think they're going to be in Europe again. Yeah. I've put them at 11. So there it's we are. It's either they, they get into Europe via the places or they win the Conference yeah. League. Yeah, okay. But they're going to do either one. Right. Top 10 now. You get to smack me if it's wrong. Okay. Wait, why did I say that? I don't know, because you said that on... St you know, we're recording this as well, so... Oh, duh. Yeah. West Ham. You're going to put them at 10? Yeah. Okay. I mean, they had an absolutely horror season last season. Yeah. Think Mr. Moyes has lost his touch? I think they just had a bad season. Mm. And they're probably going to bring some other players in the rice money. Yeah. Or if they don't, they're just going to improve facilities, which will also boost the players. Yeah. It. Uh, I mean, looking at it, they've not done a lot of business so far. Yeah, but they're probably just like... Like I say... They're that, probably just like getting players on their shortlist. And like, yeah. Who do we sign? Because that Declan Rice money, like I say, is still hot, in it? That check is still hot. So, that's West Ham. Dylan's put West Ham as number 10. I'm going to say, because I like David Moyes as a manager. always liked him. Um, so I'm not going to put West Ham at 10. I am, however, I am, however, thinking about putting it in a little South Coast team. Yeah, it is Brighton. Brighton. They've lost McAllister to Liverpool. That's They've a, gained James Milner. I think Liverpool got the better end. Uh, uh, I agree. Liverpool got the, the better bit of business. So I'm going to put that uh, Brighton as number 10. What do we think? Number 9. Now it's, now it's tough. Who is the almost ran? Now it gets tough, it does. This is where I put... Now you're putting Aston Villa 9. Okay. What I said earlier about them getting Europe, yeah, it'll probably be via Conference League winning that. So this is where I'm putting Brentford. <laughs> what? I just gave you the death stare. I know, I know you did. No, I like the signing of uh, Kevin Shade back back from loan. He's, he's proper in. Look who else you've got. Beckham's son <laughs> from Miami. Yep. For some reason. Um, good youth player, though. Yeah. And then we've also got Mark Flecken, another youth player. we got a lot of youth coming in. Got a lot of youth coming in, yeah. And then what we were saying about Nathan Collins. Yeah. Wolves earlier. Yep. To miss out on Europe yet again, Tottenham Hotspur. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That'll make mum angry. Spurs? Holy moly. I mean, they, they, did it, they did it last year. They're doing it again. It is said West Ham. Going for West Ham. Yeah. Like I say, I like David Moyes, but he's not there. It's yeah. not there. And they've also got to deal with the uh, Europa League as well. Yeah. That's yeah, schedule. that's it. Um, and there's a good chance they will go full pelt at that and maybe lose some players to injury and stuff. So yeah, it's going to be yeah, tricky. Like if they... If they all lose, them fixtures. If they lose like Jared Bowen or... Mm. What are we talking about? Conference place. What do we reckon? Brighton. You are, are you actually putting Brentford in the top six? It's, 
<laughs> uh, it's I, bold, i got to say. I, earlier, I said controversial c- Brentford takes. Yeah, it's... I mean, it's... Uh, I it's, think we've got the right squad it's for very, the job. It's very brave. I top six. We've got the squad for the job. You think Brentford are a top six side? I, I, okay. I, I like the signing of uh, Flecken. Right. Like, if Raya gets injured, Flecken's uh, a top class. No, you, you, you know... And you're, there's also talks of Raya leaving. So if he does... Got, got you know, you're absolutely right in, you know, having having faith in that team. They do really did, you know. Squad. I do think the squad's a good squad. I do. I do. They, um... Can they've I, done very well over the last couple of seasons. Can I tell you a fact about David Raya? What's that? He's never played outside of England, even though he's Spanish. Wow. There's a factoid for you. You um, better say Chelsea here. Or I'm gonna I am going to say Chelsea. Yeah, I am going to say Chelsea here. Yeah, this is. This, I mean, who yeah. have they really got? Exactly. Exactly. So I'm going to put Spurs in six. There you go. You finally put them in. Finally put them in. I think they are going to be there or thereabouts. I think there's going to be a massive offset. I think the wheel, there's going to be a little wheel come off when Kane does go. Do you think there'll be a chance that they'll finish where I've put them? Possibly, yeah. It's one or the other. I th- I think the balance, they'll offset, will be just when he go when Kane goes. It's either Europa League or no Europe. Yeah. When Kane goes, there'll be a bit of a vacuum for a season, and then they'll come good again, I think. Six yeah. is a um, club who overperformed last season, and that's Man Kay. United. Okay. You notice how I still haven't put Brentford on. So, I am going for, in fifth, I am going for... You don't think, you don't think Saudi oil money will be enough? No, I don't. You don't think infinite cash will be enough? No, I don't. Because it's, like I say, you can... They've you got can, Sandra Tonali. Yeah, but you can, have, you can have all the big names under the sun. If they don't gel and the manager hasn't got the dressing room, I think you're going to hide into nothing. They lost sent Maximan. <laughs> But to, they um, haven't done a last season Chelsea where they just signed everybody. No, they've been smart about that. They business. have, yeah, they have stopped short. Yeah, they got they got Harvey Barnes. That's they have stopped signing. short of doing that. I all, I've rated but, Harvey Barnes for years. Yeah, but Chris Wood gone. Like I say, St Maximan's gone to uh, to Saudi. He, like Carl Darlow's gone to Leeds. Uh, yeah, and they've lost Matty Longstaff on a free as well. So they've lost a few like the backbone of that team. But I they've think. got Sandra Tonali now. I still don't think, like I say, I think it's going to take him a season. So I'm going to say there, fifth. Number five. Is this where you're putting Brentford? I mean, it's it's more points at the end of the day, isn't it? Hey, you'll be shocked when they come fifth. <laughs> you'll be shocked when Mark If they Flecken, come fifth, if, Flecken, if Brentford it? come fifth, I will, I will find a hat to eat. <laughs> You've heard the saying, I'll eat my hat. I'm saying it right now. If Brentford don't finish in European places, mm. I'll crack five eggs in my head. Okay. Put them in now. I mean, I've got well, them in I, t- top 10, but then, no. Nah. I thought you putting Chelsea was too long. Brentford, dude. I just think that... As Thomas Frank said, they're the best effing team in West London. <laughs> did he actually say that? Yeah, he did. Oh, my God. Who is the best f***ing team in West London? Yeah, I just think they're imposters. Right, next for you, dude. Fourth. So... Arsenal, who, let's just say, three quarters of the way through the season last season, they just went pop. I mean, um, everyone was making memes about people giving giving Arsenal bottles. Do you know what I mean? They were top at Christmas. They just hit every cliche going, didn't they? They were literally the longest time top without winning it. They hit every cliche in the Premier League. And, yeah, yeah, last third of the season, just... Went to they pieces. Got, they got rid of Ainsley Maitland Niles. That's bad. That is. Uh, yeah, so Maitland Niles gone on a free. But they, they've brought in Havertz and Rice, and I and I went a week with only seeing on yeah. bus stops Rice, Rice, baby. <laughs> yeah. The big signing, 105 million Declan Rice from West Ham. Yeah. Uh, Julian Timber from Ajax. Um, Granite Jack is gone. Thank God, vile player. <laughs> Uh, Wait, Kai Havertz from Chelsea. That's a good signing as well. But, uh, yes. I don't think they've made enough signings. I don't think they have. But Mr. Dylan says, no. No. And um, I was very heavily contemplating putting Liverpool there. Really? But, but I think Sobers Lai and uh, McAllister will bring them higher. Right. I think those are two great biz- great pieces of business. Especially okay. Sobers Lai. Mm-hmm. I, I incredibly I rate the Hungarian. Fair enough. Okay. 
So this is where I am going to put Man United. Let's have a look at their bit. Have we looked at those yet? We haven't, have we? Let's have a look at their business. Uh, Mason Mount. Mason Mount is probably the only one. Um, uh, Andre Onana. Oh, and Onana, yeah, from uh, from Milan, Internazionale Milano. So they, they've got rid of uh, Anthony Alanga. Alanga's gone, gone to, to uh, Nottingham Forest. Uh, um, Tellers, Alex the... Tellers, he's gone to Saudi. A lot of people gone to Saudi. I didn't realise. Christ. Was... Saudi are doing a China, but more extreme. They are. Ah, oh, and finally, the they ugliest got... man in football, Phil Jones. They, they haven't got rid of the other meme. They still they still have Harry Maguire. They, still... they got rid of De Gea, which is why they needed Onana. Uh, yeah, so De Gea's gone as well. Big, uh, big loss, big loss. Because I don't think he's that good. Top three. The most northern team in the league, I think. That's all. Okay. I'm pretty sure they're the most northern team in the league. Done good business. They have done some some ex some exceptional business. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to really upset the apple cart. Okay. Um. My first glance, you're wrong. Reasons for that? Because they're Man City. That's what they do is win the league. Okay. So. Liam Delap's gone to Hull. <laughs> Liam Delap. Is that Rory's son? It is Rory's son, isn't it? Gundogan has gone to Barcelona. They've got uh, Kovacic. I don't rate Kovacic. Never have. Uh, Mares has been shipped off to. Mares is shipped off to um, to the Saudis. European Super League thing. Mm -hmm. yep. Saudi Arabia have just made it. Yeah. Uh, James Trafford's been transferred out to Burnley. I mean, that's a good piece of business by Burnley. It is. It is. It is. It is. I'm saying Man City for third because uh, of a couple of couple of transfers. Good one. I think is going to be a big loss for them. I've never rated Haaland. He's. I've always found him a bit of a tapping merchant. Hey, um, I, I rated him while he was at Dortmund. He, at Dortmund, yeah, absolutely. He might have he might have all the plaudits, but and the fact um, Reid Mares is gone as well, and he was quite good. Both of them actually quite good at servicing Haaland. They were the ones that were whipping the balls and stuff. I think they're going to be off. I think this is his season. I think he's going to have uh, a season like Klopp. Come off the back of winning the treble. Yeah, I think he's going to have a season like Klopp did. Like the season just gone. Oh, Liverpool are second. Liverpool second. I love how it said Luton Town because it just also <laughs> filled it. I mean, um, a very close clubs, and you know, I can't, I can't really tell the difference. Yes. So you know, unfortunately, there is a couple of of huge players gone. The Ox. The Ox. Yeah, yeah, nabby has gone to Bremen. nabby has gone to Werder Bremen. That's, Rob, a, that's a good piece of business. Bobby Bremen. Firmino. Bremen. We've got uh, Alexis M McAllister, Carvalho. That'll be good for him. Uh, Leipzig. Leipzig. Um, and then you've just pulled Subberslie from Leipzig. Subberslie, Dominic Subberslie. Uh, he's had quite a good um, pre-season so far. Yep. I just think Liverpool this season. You're doubting your own club? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm actually really, club. I'm actually really, 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 I'm really confident. You see how hard I faced. Yes. Them? Yeah. I, I, there's something in, something in the waters this, this season. I feel really good. The strength in that squad. You've done barely any business. Done enough. I've gone with Arsenal. Dylan's gone with Liverpool. Oh, I know. Oh, we're putting them in yellow, aren't we? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's, let's do that. Remember let's... things, at least. Uh, Liverpool and Luton Town. <laughs> Uh, well, you think Brentford are going to be fifth? <laughs> if they're not, I'm cracking five <laughs> eggs over my head. You are. And everybody heard that. So there we go. That is the our Premier League predictions for 23-24. We have agreed on... So we've agreed on two. This is going to be very interesting come the end of the season, I mean, it? last year we we agreed on Liverpool winning the league and they we came did. fifth. And they came fifth, yeah. So that, so was that wasn't great. Yeah.